to my channel. Welcome to Look Into Pep's channel. So I must start off by apologising. Last week I released no video whatsoever and that was because I was really really unwell. I spent most of the week pretty much bed bound but by God's grace I'm feeling a lot lot better and by the weekend I was almost back to my feet so I really really thank God for that and yeah let's get straight into the video. So today I am coming at you with an update on my lock journey. It's I'm in my 11th month at the moment and I can't believe in just about two weeks time I will officially have locked my hair for a year. Where does the time go? Like literally time goes so 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 fast. So today is the 19th of June which happens to be my birthday and I just thought I'd glam up a little bit um, today and sit down and just have a chat with you guys because I'm just about to head out of the house now and I just thought you know let me just come on here and just kind of reflect on my journey thus far and kind of give you like um, an update of my 11 month locks. So as you can see, um, I haven't retwisted my hair. Last time I retwisted it, I think it was, hmm, let me just have a look. Because I tend to not be very good at keeping track of when I last did things. So it's been about um, one, two, three. Oh, it's coming up to about four weeks. I'd probably say about um, three and a half weeks since I last did my retwist. And truth be told, guys, like I literally prefer to have the unneat look, this look that I have, than the actual properly retwisted look. I used to love that look um, in my first days when my coils pretty much looked, still looked coilish <laughs> um, I still liked the twisted look because it would annoy me to have like a bushy um, root and then have the coils all perfect I did not like that so I used to really like the fresh look when I started my journey so that would probably be about the first six months of six months of my journey I really liked that fresh V twisted look However, as I've gone on on my journey, I literally cannot wait for it to get frizzy. I retwist it mainly because I want to maintain the part and I don't want my locks to start tangling up and I'm having to rip them apart. That's the main reason why I retwist them. And because of the amount of locks that I have and the size that I have, it can get a little bit messy if I go on for too, too long. Um, like I said in my last video, I've gone on for about two months, two, just over two months without retwisting, which is perfect for me. I think any longer than that, especially because my hair has not finished budding, it has not finished locking, will be a little bit dangerous. So I'll probably delve into longer periods of time um, once I've gone probably about the 18th mark. Um, 18th month mark then I will probably look into stretching the retwist a little bit longer because I do like the semi and um, freeform type look at the moment um, um, what I've noticed people say my hair has grown a lot I have days where I really see the growth and then I have days when I just feel like there's nothing that has really changed but when I look back um, on my pictures of which I will do a compilation of pictures of my journey um, after or slightly or on the day that I reach my one year mark just to show, kind of show you guys my journey so at the moment it's in a low ponytail and as you can tell it is pretty pretty full and it's quite long um, obviously as it bulks up and shrinks at the front so I'm now looking at the frame just to see you it, it doesn't show its true length but as soon as I retwist it 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 does show its true length and one thing that I find that I can't wait to get over is the shrinkage bit because not all of it has finished you know budding and compacting together it still has that 
that bounce to it. Not all of them. Most most of them is pretty much gone. Like this one, it's not there anymore. Um, but for for some of them, you know what? I might be telling lies. Actually, like say this one. It's still I can still stretch it a little bit, which which is nice. Um, but I can't wait till all of it is done locking. I really really can't wait. Um, another thing that I would probably say is that I really love my locks because of my hair texture. I love my hair texture. I have about a three C slash four A, and one thing that I love about my hair is. It just has this unique look that even when most people see it, they always ask me whether they are actual locks because it just it just has this you know uniqueness to it. It doesn't look locked. It doesn't. I I just don't know how to describe it. But I love my locks because of my hair texture. Um, my hair texture hasn't been something that I've always embraced. Um, I've always known, like, especially, um, I'm going to say a little, something a little bit controversial, but especially when I were, first went natural, um, or even prior to me going natural, you know, because I, I used to live in Zimbabwe and we used to have that short, short hair, people used to always ask whether I am mixed. And, yeah, I just think there's just that, that, view that when you have when you're full black you're supposed to have a particular hair texture um which is a misperception um and even when my hair grew to waist length i still used to always ask, get asked you know i should go talk to my mom and really find out whether i'm really fully black or i should go talk to find out to my dad with my dad and see if i've got any white roots or any indian roots inside of me and the answer to that would always be no i am 100 percent african and i've said this in um if you're from zimbabwe i am from zaka i'm from mashringo so <laughs> there is absolutely no way i can be mixed and that used to be something that I didn't embrace because it used to always make me feel like I, I, I should not have this hair texture. I should have hair that looks, that, that is like that 4C type hair texture that's really kinky. I used to want that and envy that hair texture so, so much. Um, and I can say that with locking my hair, I have embrace my hair texture the more like literally it's flown out of the roof the way that i love my texture Sorry, my memory card filled up i was saying that intertwines into the next thing that i've been loving so much about my locks as i have gone through my journey is that i love the fact that with locks i don't have to think a lot about them um i know like let's say when i was a loose natural even like just lying on a pillow i'd be thinking oh my gosh my edges or if i've got a puff i'd be thinking if i lie back on the puff then that's gonna flatten the puff it was just all these things that will just constantly be affecting how you live your life and i love that about having locks it's just um as i can't remember what her name is she said it's just having that thing where you can step out the house and your hair is beautiful you don't have to overthink that situation i don't have to think so much like i used to hate um getting into a convertible because my my sister's got a convertible and every time she brings the roof down i'm like my hair or even if I'm wearing a wig or anything like that, I'm just thinking my hair is going to be flying, it might drop. But now having locks, it's just so beautiful seeing them like flow through the wind. And I know like even when we stop the car, it's still going to look amazing. So that's definitely one thing that I really, really love about having my locks. Um, I cannot believe, as I've said before, I can't believe in about two weeks time, I will fully have reached my one year anniversary oh my goodness i never thought this time would come and as i sit here and and i reflect and as i said it being my birthday i just feel so thankful i'm just so thankful for life 
I'm just so thankful for the journey of life and and as I've been mentioning in throughout my journey is that this journey has taught me so much about my walk with Christ it's taught me so much about living in Christ it's so taught me so much about trusting God and I cannot believe it's been one year already and I love my locks and that just has shown me that there's something so beautiful about growing growing up there's something so beautiful about maturing and with that being said it's also good to to embrace the starting stages of life of anything in life um it's always not going to look like it's going to come into fruition it's not going to look like it's going to be something beautiful but god has a way of doing things that makes everything beautiful and i'm just so grateful on my birthday today that i am alive and especially the last i'll probably say the last the last two years of um, my life have just been especially coming out on my birthday have just been amazing and person that i'm talking about knows that i'm talking about them but my last two years has have been absolutely 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 amazing and this year i just feel so amazing i just feel so great i feel so thankful and as i was just reflecting and praying yesterday and talking to god and just thanking him about the gift of life i just feel so fulfilled i feel as i've reached this birthday that god has blessed me with life he has blessed me with um, himself. When you have Christ, you have everything. The Bible does say that when you are in Christ and you have Christ, you have everything. I have everything that I've ever wanted and that is a relationship with Christ. And as I grow with my relationship with Christ, I feel so blessed. I feel so great. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much guys for watching. I will be uploading another video this week by God's grace. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. Take care. Bye.